Hey everybody, it's Rhino. I'm here at Hollywood Studios. I know, I don't know why either. Actually, I do know why. I'm gonna go see the Star Wars uh, End of the Evening Spectacular they have here for the first time. Um, and I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna stop here on Sunset Boulevard at Rosie's All-American Cafe and see what they have to offer. I know I've eaten here once before, but I can't, I can't remember what I got. So I'm gonna check out the menu and I'm gonna see if it's good, if it's worth stopping or not, or if maybe I should have eaten before I got here. So come with me, won't you? So I got the fried green tomato BLT. Uh, it comes on a ciabatta roll. It has a jalapeno ranch dressing on it, arugula, um, some pepper jack cheese. It sounded like right up my alley. Although I am trying to cut back on fried foods and not eat them. And uh, ironically, I ended up with fried green tomatoes on a menu. I can't not order that because my mother made me watch the movie so much as a child that I, it's, it would be, it would be in poor taste not to get it when it's on a menu. But so I asked if they had other sides other than fries, and they had coleslaw, which is probably just as bad for you as French fries. But they gave me the French fries and the coleslaw. So I guess that's a bonus, and now I'm sitting here eating french fries, hating myself, but I'm gonna dive into the sandwich, the ciabatta rolls, toasty and warm, it feels like, but uh, let me see if I can cut it and you can get a little bit of a better view of the sandwich. Okay, I've had a couple bites. It's pretty good. The jalapeno ranch has a nice little kick, but not too much of a kick. Um, so it's nice and spicy. The fried green tomatoes are cooked pretty well. There's arugula on here. Um, the, the bun's pretty fresh, uh, surprisingly. I don't know why, I just expect it terrible, but um, I'm enjoying it so far. All right, I'm all done. I finished the meal. I have to say it's actually pretty decent. Um, so I got it with the slaw and, and just a cup of water to drink and my total was 10 11. I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say there's worse places you could go. Um, everything overall was pretty fresh. It was a little bit different. You know, I always like to try uh, the kind of more unique stuff. Um, I don't think, uh, if you're worried about it being too spicy, I wouldn't, because um, it says jalapeno ranch, but it's just, it's very tame. I think the ranch really brings down the jalapeno, but everything was pretty good. The bun, the stuff, um, yeah, I don't really have a complaint. Um, you know, they, like I said, they gave me the fries, and of course, because they were there, I ate some of them, and now I hate myself, and they were meh, as they always are. So I would always say, recommend to you um, to try, I'll always ask like what the other side is so you're not just getting fries all the time um, but it's pretty good um, the park it says that they're open uh, 11 a.m. until park close every day so if you're coming for a Star Wars fireworks of Fantasmic um, this looks like this is kind of the place that you're gonna want to hit up for a quick service um, there's also um, Catalina Eddie's um, or Eddie's Catalina I might be reading the song because I'm backwards either way um, that's next door and that has your standard issue pizzas and burgers and you know that kind of stuff here um so that's right next door and then you've got fairfax fair um right next to here which i didn't even look at that menu so we've got some other places that we can do food vlog and check out some other time um steve would love the pizza place here steve does like to try stuff i just give him a hard time but um so it's pretty good they had some they also had like the there's an olaf cupcake you could get for dessert there was um a drink special um at the register uh, i'm trying to think I think that's pretty much it. Since it was a little chilly, it was nice though because it's really well lit out here and um, they had some space heaters on too. Um, so that was pretty nice. So if you're here at Hollywood Studios on a cold day, this might be a good place to come and just kind of warm up without like going inside, um, like all crowding inside of like a gift shop or something like that. But I enjoyed it. I would say it was a fairly stress-free dining environment. But if you've been here before, I'm curious what you think about this little strip uh, here. Um, is there something that you like down here that's a favorite? Um, is there a quick service location that you'd like us to go to and review um, in any of the parks or anywhere on property? Let us know, because otherwise we just kind of wander like nomads. Um, so that'll do it. Let us know in the comment section. I will see you guys later. Bye.